Hello everyone, we are back to do another 10, uh, sorry, not 10, 11, not 4, not 1 drive. Um, we are doing our, you know, cur curvy mountain road test. This is, uh, didn't like that. Um, that's what happens when there's no lines on the road. Um, but no, it handled that fine. Um, considering two cars are coming around a blind turn. But, um, yeah, so... We are doing, uh, going through Saluda, and then we're going back through, um, to my friend's place just to, uh, hang out. And then, uh, but I have to cancel here before we get on the highway. And so that's, I just wanted to forewarn everyone, I'm gonna dis disengage, and that's not gonna count. It just, just we gotta, uh, keep our, uh, change the route. And I feel like doing it when I had, um, uh, planted it on the map. So, for some reason, like, this is the same day I did all my other videos, it's just in the afternoon. And it's like, kind of having a little more hesitancy. Um, maybe it's because the road is brighter, um, being in the middle of the day. Not sure. Yeah, it seems to be like, pausing back and forth. We are, so like I said, gonna disengage right here. Go past the highway until it will, uh, reroute. And it might take a couple of tries for it to do it. No, it's trying to go back again. Okay, so I'm gonna enable it and then disable, <laughs> disable it again so we don't turn right there. It keeps on trying, this is ridiculous. It is not that much slower to go this direction than it is to take the highway. It's, like, it's just a few minutes slower, but it's a lot more fun. And it's a lot more in intriguing test to do. I don't know why, why it keeps on like... Come on, it's got to make it at least here. Otherwise, I'm just going to stop on the side of the road and fix it. Come on, you can do it. Wow. So they... They actually do need to fix that. Okay. So again, none of the disengagements that happen count because uh, I, I didn't set the navigation correct. And of course, uh, yeah, that's uh, that caused all this. Um, but that last little swerve, when I enabled it and it disabled right away because it swerved, it swerved the wheel, they need to get rid of that. Um, that is that will absolutely cause an accident one day if it hasn't already because if the navigation decides to change the last second it's just, just it just boom, <laughs> just like one 90 degree turn um, on on the wheel it just it doesn't have it, it just needs to like have a heuristic that says no don't make a 90 degree turn if you miss your turn that's ridiculous that's really unsafe that's like the idiots that are on the highway that miss their exit and go across two lanes of traffic to try and hit their exit at the last second, almost causing a wreck. That's just not smart at all, and it should not do that. It's also trying to stop here. It thinks that's light is red. That is something that I wonder if they're gonna be able to fix because it's had this issue for a while. Make sure we don't hit the Model Y. Um, that uh, it thinks blinking yellow is red sometimes. It's like the color in the camera just can't see it properly. Got a few Teslas here in downtown Saluda today. So this wall of wall, uh, the bridge, you can see the bridge right here. This gives you a better view of what it looks like. If you are a cyclist that's uh, right here, and you're going the opposite direction, um, that bridge will block you, um, which means a car cannot see you, and a car shouldn't just lunge out. It's hard to explain without, you know, in being in person. I'll try and do a better job next time I do that route, and maybe if, if I'm in the right spot, I'll get out of the car and actually like show like where the B pillar is and all that stuff, and you know, try and try and make a little bit more detail on it. Man, look, we got a police car right here. Um, it's a good thing I uh, wasn't going my normal speed. I guess I won't have fun this afternoon because um, 
but yeah, they, they watch on this road fairly often. And um, definitely don't want to speed. Wow, so this is definitely improved. This is like, this is really good. That braked a little bit much. Probably wouldn't have braked as much if I was going 45 instead of 50. Breaking too much here. Okay, I jinxed it. <laughs> I jinxed it, everyone. But no, that was doing so good, actually. Um, that's like how I would drive. It, it, like, going 50 around these curves, I see that's, for me, I'm used to this. Again, this comes to like what I'm used to and everything else because like I'm fine going around curves faster but I know my grandparents would not be my mom would not be my dad would not be um, my sister probably would be fine with it um, as you can tell we're catching up to these people here um, we are going the speed limit which now is gonna we're, it's 45 right here and it's about to be 40 uh, right where that car is now and they're going 35 and a 45 because they're not comfortable they're out of state you can tell they're out of state not from this area and they're just not comfortable going to speed also that's that's another problem it has these old maps maps da uh, data in here and it just doesn't handle it well Uh, you know the speed limit's 40, these people are only comfortable driving like 30. Like it's, they're going so slow. <laughs> like, I generally, I could feel comfortable going 50, 55 in this section right here. Like totally comfortable. Like just kind of cruising. But they're like only comfortable going 30 to 35 and just 40 mile an hour right now because we're in a straight stretch. Yeah, um, that, 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 that sigh was towards the people in front of me, human pilots in front of me. This, this is why normally I wouldn't probably take this road, I don't know. Um, getting stuck behind someone like this is really frustrating. Like, at least go to the speed limit. Like, come on, go to the speed limit. Like, like, the speed limit's really conservative on this right now. It used to be ridiculous. It used to be 55 this whole stretch. Like, even right here used to be 55 mile an hour which is freaking ridiculous because I you know you get up to 60 mile an hour and just going five over in some stretches which you know was fun as heck um, but not uh, not good uh, in terms of people that can't drive that speed you get you got people going now that are going 30 mile an hour because they're not comfortable going faster hey they repainted this section right here awesome well, that should no longer have issues now that they finally repainted this. This section of road had some really rough paint. You can go back in the playlist if you want to see this. Every I have versions way back into like the 8s, I think, on this route. And so you can see many, many versions compared side by side exactly how well it does on this route. I think one day I will go back and just do manual side-by-side -side comparisons I'm like hey look how well it did on this version versus this version you know and just kind of see how far we've come in the last few years okay clearly this person doesn't know where they're going They had all that time going on that road super slow to figure out where they were going, but they couldn't figure, <laughs> figure it out until the last second. Okay. Anyways, this is good. This is improved through here. This is more confident going through that little intersection and exchange right there. Let's see how it does merging on the highway. I'm sure this car is going to be slow again. <laughs> Getting in its way. Like, this is, like, interesting when you can, from full self driving, it's driving better than human pilot. probably gonna want to pass. God, they're going so slow. 
It might not. We'll see. I wonder if it's gonna do it. Because we're going way under. Okay, yeah, we are gonna pass it. What state is that? Alabama, I think. so we can actually get in this lane. Okay, let's see how it slows down getting off the highway here. And so, so that's an improvement that needs to happen is it needs to have an acceleration profile for passing. I need to be able to have an offset of like five to 10 mile an hour that says, hey, you can go this much faster over the speed limit to pass people uh, and then slow back down you know, once, once you pass them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it needs a passing profile. This is actually one well, that that's actually improved um, getting off the highway. It seemed to be at least before it would always like jam on the brakes too much, but uh, now it's actually quite good getting off the highway here. Let's see now we have one more turn. I bet the people behind me are like, why are you taking so so long? Anyways, yeah, they're good. Again, zero guess disengagements for this drive. Again, the ones at the beginning did not count because that's my fault. I should have navigated correctly from the get-go. I didn't think it was uh, going to reroute four different times. But anyways, um, I appreciate everyone watching. Let me know what you think down below. I definitely think there are some improvements to uh, uh, curvy mountain roads, you know, curvier roads. It stays a little bit quicker, which is what I personally want to see, and I think I think it's totally acceptable. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.